I have faith in her. Iris can do it. I'm gonna try it this way. Yuna's the dead healer. That's all. All Yuna's gonna do is heal. And Iris is gonna dance and heal. Heal when she's not dancing. Dance when she's not healing. And Yuna's just gonna heal all day long. Hmm. Yeah, better go that way. It's okay. I understand. My brain started slow, though, so I'm ahead of the game on that one. I need to take a break and go refill my drink. I am out of liquid refreshment, and that is not a state that I can remain in. And the great thing is that these two actually pair really well. Because Iris gives me a shell, a shield, a wall of some sort, and um, Yuna gives me a reheal. So their they're healing add-ons stack with each other. Yeah, but between the two of them healing, I don't think it's going to matter that much. This is a fight that needs like one and a half healers. And so, between the two of them, neither of them is really a full healer, but they're both about three quarters of a healer, so it works out. Hang on, friends. Yeah. And then uh, Kamari's going to add some heals in because his uh, command one does heals as well as damage, so...
I just haven't leg uh, what I mean when I say they're not full healers is I haven't legend dived either of them so they're not doing an Ishtola or a deuce level where they just are dual casting and hitting top marks all the time Titus can almost do this fight all by himself. Ooh, boy. Not good, not good. Beginning to think I should have brought Aiko. Oh, that'll work. If Yuna gets her cast off in time. Which she's gonna. Yeah. If this double strikes, it might finish him off right here. Of course it didn't. Should have had her use Inky Do. I think that did it. Yeah, right. I mean, so that fight wasn't easy, but it was it was easy compared to a lot of other uh, top floors on the on this thing. on the crystal towers. <laughs> 